we finally have our very first official trailer of Alien Rogue Incursion. I would say last month, yes, we did see a sneak peek of what we would be getting, but that footage was just so choppy that I couldn't even really consider it to be a teaser or anything else. This right here is a stark contrast and massive improvement from what we saw last month at PlayStation's event when they talked about the PlayStation VR 2 and some of the games coming to it. That being said, there is a lot going on in this trailer, and I want to break down what we see here. And to start off, even before I start breaking down, I want to state that I am more excited about this game than I've been for an Alien game in a very long time. Don't get me wrong, Alien Isolation it was a good game. Not for me. Not my type of game. I'm not someone who's like, oh, I love hiding from an unkillable enemy until I get a very specific thing that I'm able to then kill this enemy with. I don't like that stuff. I like when my character is competent and able to actually, you know, defend themselves. So very excited about this. Excited to see what we get. That being said, let's go ahead and get into this trailer breakdown. Before we get into it, this is essentially your entire arsenal. You have a radar, a shotgun, a revolver, and the pulse rifle. And let me just state right here, right now, as someone who's in VR that hasn't been able to use a pulse rifle in an alien game since Colonial Marines, I am super excited to be able to get my hands on this. And if you know VR, you know what I mean by get my hands on this. So the game's description already states that we are going to be in a Gemini black site facility, which is essentially a kind of off the books, if you will. It's not necessarily off the books, but usually this is where a lot of secret stuff happens. So that's obviously why we're encountering an alien here. We then see our very first shot of the alien, which at least is one of them. And you can see here he's already taken out two people. We then get to see our very first look at our protagonist, Zula Hendricks, and this pulse rifle again just looks amazing you can see these shots here just seem like wow but i'm really wondering what is on her back what is that thing looking over her shoulder it looks like it may actually be the flashlight that whenever you turn your flashlight on that's what's going to turn on but again i'm not 100 percent. that's just what it looks like to me it could potentially be the radar but i don't think so it looks like more of a flashlight than anything now i want you to pay close attention to the dialogue so you hear right there where it talks about her being and it kind of cuts out a little bit but you can hear it she's infected a face hugger got to her and I'm a little worried about experiencing that in VR personally, but like, again, I'm excited about it because that, that experience is gonna be so unique as someone playing in VR. Just a small detail here. It appears more than likely we could probably be able to hold every single weapon with one hand. And for me, that's just interesting because I would assume the recoil and like, you're gonna have to pump your shotgun. So that's gonna be a little difficult. Now, I know I didn't show this earlier in the arsenal. This might just be one particular part of the game, but it looks like they have a portable welder. Maybe we're going to be unwelding or rewelding a door closed, something along those lines. Very interesting. Uh, you know, definitely going to be a interesting mechanic to see in VR, even if we just use it for a few minutes. The next thing I want to point out is this terminal here. It looks like we need to scan rooms for part of this game. I'm not sure if that's just going to be a one and done type thing, or if this is going to be a very integral part of the game think of typewriters in resident evil where you're gonna have to return to that safe spot to say okay here let me upgrade some equipment let me get some equipment and then go back out on my way and see what's going on right here at the end we actually see that we are going to encounter more than one alien at a time not necessarily all the time like this but we are going to have a lot of chances more than likely to encounter more than one enemy at a time it's not going to be like alien isolation where it's 1v1 it's going to be 1v a horde is what i would assume is happening that being said there is a lot on their website i'm not necessarily going to go through everything i do want to give you guys something to kind of go and read yourself however they do state that these are going to be the most intelligent xenomorphs 
that are going to choose their own paths to attack. I don't know if that necessarily means like the AI is going to be really good or what, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. I will link the game site below. That being said, my name is Butters VR. I want to thank all of you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see all of you next time with whatever video I decide to bring. I'm still working on that Assassin's Creed Nexus review, but that's a story for another day. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.